Check this out, if I press on the volume up key, I can increase the screen brightness. If I press on the volume down key, I can open an app and if I double tap on the volume down key, I can toggle flashlight. And this is all possible with an app called Keymapper. Just grant it all necessary permissions and then tap on this plus icon and then select record trigger, then press any of your volume or physical buttons to record the trigger. And now head over to the action section and tap on add action and then select your desired action from the list and tap on save and you're good to go. If you own a Pixel device, chances are you do know how annoying the other glance widget is because it can't be disabled and it's useless most of the time. Well, with Smart Spacer, you can make the glance widget display music artwork, you can display your data usage, you can use it to show your notifications, and so much more. Just enable the app using Shizuku, and for basic functions, just tap on this big target button and select Smart Spacer, then select any of the available options. And for advanced options like showing notifications and data usage, just tap on the plugins tab down below, then tap on available and choose from the list which plugin suits you best and then install it. And when you're done, head over to the complications tab and tap on add complication and tap your desired plugin and select any of the available options within the plugin. And simple as that, you can make the error class widget super useful. And for those who don't know how to set up Shizuku, all you have to do is connect your device to a Wi-Fi network, then make sure that developer options is turned on, then open Shizuku and tap on pairing, then select developer options. Then scroll down and look for wireless debugging and activate it, then tap on wireless debugging and select pair device with pairing code and you'll see a six digit pairing code. So now enter the pairing code in the Shizuku notification and head back to Shizuku and tap on start and when it's done connecting, tap on authorized apps and select the apps that need access and you're good to go. Next up is Auto D&D, an app that, well, you guessed it, automatically turns on do not disturb whenever you open specific apps. Just head over to the app and select your apps of choice and whenever you open those apps, your phone goes automatically on DND. It's a great way to get 50 minutes calls from your boss while you binge watch on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss cool Android videos like this one. The built-in battery saver on Android is pretty good but it doesn't give you much level of flexibility to work with. Well, with the app saver tuner, that isn't the case anymore because the app gives you 5 power saving profiles ranging from default to extreme depending on your needs instead of 2 profiles offered by most devices. And the story doesn't end there. The app also offers features like enabling data saver when in power saving mode, disabling dark mode even on extreme power saving mode and a bunch of other features that will make your power saving experience a breeze. But the app doesn't work straight out of the box, you'll need some fiddling with a PC to get it to work. And if you don't own a PC, I'll show you how to activate the app without a PC at the end of the video. Next up is Color Blender, an app that gives you full control over your system's material you theming. With the app, you can create custom colors for your theme, adjust their hue, saturation and value, something that Android by default doesn't let you do. You can also adjust the look and feel to neutral, vibrant, tonal spot, expressive and more. Plus, if you happen to have root access on your device, you can force material you on apps that don't support it, you can change the background to pitch black when using dark mode and you can even override colors manually. This is Paperize, an app that makes your Android customization more fun by auto-changing your wallpaper after a certain interval. Within the app, you can add as much wallpapers as you can and you can choose whether to auto-change the wallpaper for the home screen, lock screen or both. And you can also set a general interval at which your wallpapers should auto-change, it can be days, hours or even minutes. Plus, you can go for individual scheduling if you want your lock screen and home screen wallpapers to change at different intervals. And as promised, to set up the app saver tuner without PC, you'll need two apps, that is Shizuku and HLU that will use to run commands. So now make sure Shizuku is activated, then authorize the app HLU within Shizuku to get it to function. And when you're done, 
open the app saver tuner and tap and hold on the command on the screen to copy it and then head over to HLU and paste the command and hit on send and you should see a notification that says permission grant user which means the app is ready to start functioning. And hey, make your music experience a breeze with some unique open source music players for Android by watching the video on the screen. Catch you in the next one.